Yeah. Watches, especially mechanical watches, are unnecessary. We have better, more reliable, more accurate, more affordable ways of telling time. We don't need mechanical watches. I'm not entirely sure we need any watches at all. On Maslow's hierarchy of needs, mechanical watches might be way up in the aesthetic row, somewhere between vanity license plates and chewing gum that comes in cute packaging. And yet, and yet I need them. The watches, I mean. The license plates and the cute gum, I'll survive without them. And so it's nice to see some timepieces which not only acknowledge their superfluousness, but kind of embrace it. Watches exist for enjoyment. A lot of people don't seem to realize that, and yeah, there are many forms of enjoyment. Cosplaying as a soldier seems to be a popular theme amongst watch collectors. But the simplest form, I think, is just having fun. And look at these things, it's clear that fun is what these are all about. These are all four watches of the new Adapt Series 1 collection. Adapt is a brand of straps and cases and now watches started by the folks at Worn and Wound. Worn and Wound might be best known as a watch review website, but I know they also produce videos and are responsible for the Wind Up Watch Fair. I made a video about attending the latest San Francisco Wind Up and it was, it was really good to be there. These watches launched in late September this year and they caught my attention right away. Some facts. Each watch uses a 38mm titanium case, not steel. They are 44mm long, 13.5mm thick, and have 20mm lugs. The watches are water resistant to 200 meters and come on a single pass nylon strap, also made by Adapt. Inside the Adapt is the Seiko NH35A automatic movement. It's basically an unbranded Seiko 4R35 movement. It has 41 hours of power reserve, it hacks, it hand winds, and it's not that accurate. And given the price, I'm totally fine with the movement. These watches cost $449. The design of the titanium case is thanks to a partnership with Boulder Watches. That's the word bold and then the letter R. Boulder also handles the warranty, which is good for 30 months. I really like the look of this angular case. It's matte and brushed with no polished faces. And the shape of the case allows the watch to have a pretty short length of 44 millimeters. I think 44 millimeters by 38 millimeters across is going to appeal to a lot of watch nerds. On my seven inch wrist, the watch wears slightly smaller than I was expecting. I do like it, but for folks with bigger wrists or folks that prefer bigger watches, this might not be for you. A 13.5 millimeter thickness, that's a bit tall for a time only watch with 200 meters of water resistance. And that thickness is increased with this style of strap. The strap adds about another millimeter of thickness, but at no point has this watch felt uncomfortable to me. Between the size and the light weight of the titanium, you could wear this all day without even thinking about it. You know, until you look at your wrist and then, whoa, it's hard to miss these toys. Petrol. Carbon, Harvest, and Terra. These are the names of these colorful configurations. The designs are all the same with syringe hands, waffle dials, raised markers, and dates at six o'clock, which you know I love. And the bezels also share a design, and I do like these bezels. They are mainly 12 hour bezels that also include a timing track for the first 15 minutes. I like how these bezels cleanly combine time zone and timing functions. I just really like a 12 hour bezel. It's a super easy way to track a second time zone. All you need to know is the offset between your local time and the other time zone you wanna track. I'm on Pacific time and I wanna track the time in London so I know when to stop bothering my coworkers there. Just kidding, I never stop bothering them. London is eight hours off from my time so I rotate the bezel until eight is at 12 o'clock. Then I read the hour from the bezel the hour hand is pointing to 5 on the bezel, so I know it's 5 o'clock in London. And so now would be a great time to send people urgent requests for unimportant things. These bezels are friction fit, meaning they are bi-directional, which is good, and they don't click, which is bad for me. I would prefer a clicking bezel, 60 clicks would be great. I think that it'd be more impervious to accidental rotations. The bezel inserts are aluminum with loomed inlays. This was a nice surprise to me when I first shined a UV light on them. 
For a $450 watch, I wasn't expecting loomed bezel inserts. Of these colors, I think the Terra is my favorite. It has the boldest colors and it's the only one with two loom colors instead of one. But the loom on the Terra seems to be the weakest of the four. The straps are okay. I like the colors and I like the large fabric keeper with its contrasting color, but I would prefer and do prefer two-piece straps, simply because they allow the watch to sit directly on the wrist. But if you're a strap monkey like me, you'll have an easy time playing dress up with these because these watches have drilled lugs. And it's stuff like that, the drilled lugs, the 12 hour bezel, the loom. There's a lot here that tells me that these watches were designed by people who like watches. Sometimes you try on a watch and it's like, did anyone at this company even think about wearing this or setting this or consider anything except how this looks in the display case? I can tell that these adapt watches were made with wearing in mind and fun in mind. Front of mind, clearly. Maybe too much for all you military cosplayers, but for the rest of us who like a world full of color and laughter and, and silliness, I think these watches are pretty damn good. Thank you.